and thanks for watching exploring the holos make sure you like and subscribe that really helps our channel today it's a beautiful hot day in big pine key we're gonna head on over to the seven mile bridge and bike it and at the end of that well it's actually the middle there's a pigeon key that you can explore and i think that there's a little museum there so let's get after it parking is tight yo get here early Sorry for the wind again. Got the microphone locked in the truck. This is a two mile section of the bridge that is open to pedestrians and bikes. And it goes through Pigeon Key, little island down here. Very windy up here. Made it here to Pigeon Key. Whew. Not used to the two mile bike ride, but the electric bike did awesome. Still haven't charged it even after, I don't know how many miles yesterday, and then the two miles just now. Uh, we're down to a half battery. Push it. Full one. Yeah, yours always says full until it's empty. No. <laughs> it started to go down, but then it stopped. Yeah. All right, we'll see on the way back what they're at. But this is, it's a nice little island here and I'm going to pay the admission for us to get in and look around. Unless they say we can't bring bubble, which is, I've seen a lot of dogs already here, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, this is the vista point for the seven mile bridge. As you can see, there's all kinds of sponges down there in coral. I seen something big jumping under the bridge over there before, but I didn't know what it was. This was the Flagler train bridge, which carried the first train into Key West. Before that, everybody had to take a ferry in the early 1900s, I believe. Uh, there's a good documentary on the Key West history it's like a two hour long docu documentary on YouTube. So check that out. So that was disappointing. I came down here to see if there was any bike racks or bike parking whatsoever. And I immediately got confronted by the lady saying that dogs are not allowed because there's birds on the island. I'd like to know how he's gonna get a bird. Whatever. Um, people don't want our money, that's fine. That's fine. We'll come back someday when there's nobody running this island and uh, it's just a fucking trash heap with garbage. And there's no rules, because I'm sure that's what'll happen. Um, well, yeah, you can see it from the bridge and not have to pay. Whatever. Um, uh, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm beyond words with these anti-pet people that uh, refuse to give animals equal rights. So, I guess we're just gonna take a rest and get some more pictures and then head around back. And uh, I think the blue hole is pet friendly as far as what it's said on the research that just make sure your dogs stay on the leash because there's alligators. And he's gonna be in a carrier, so I think it'll be fine. Oh, maybe we'll walk. We'll see. We'll see how it is. 
But uh, I'm sorry I couldn't bring you more of this island. I mean, it looks nice and everything. But I can show you uh, what I can see from here. All right, I'll be right over there. Hey, look at those more eagles. Hey, this is gonna be really cheap. You wanna know why? Because we're not going in. Let's see if we can see the stingray down here. I'm not seeing it. She said we can't come in with bull. Uh, do you want to just go in? I can stay out here with No. You. That's over at there at like one o'clock. Um, Where is it? I lost it. Right here. Straight, straight in front of me. I can't see nothing through this. It's not very big. Is it? I think I got it. I think I got it on here. Is that moving too? That's hard to see. Oh, it's moving. That's definitely a little stinger. It's a little one. Um, I'm not scared to drop my phone. Yeah, it is definitely easier to see on the other side. do have restrooms if you'd like to purchase them so there's that what don't bring your dog leave your dog in the truck just kidding don't do that I don't know what they expect you to do but whatever Parking lot got the bikes loaded up. I told we needed to just take Bobo down here, and it looks like they're just waiting for me. This sun, uh, I mean, it gets to me, <laughs> it makes me really hot and tired, so I don't need her hearing me be all crabby. And I think it would just be better to do it this way and I was correct I mean I got a little bloody but I'd rather do it that way hi that's a beautiful little park down here uh, you could probably ride your bike well you're supposed to walk your bike down here apparently they don't read the signs but whatever a lot of a lot of ramps or whatever they tell you to walk your bikes down but I'm sure you could ride your bike down here I think this goes under the bridge over to the town on the other side. Uh, I'm not sure what key that is, but there is a restaurant on the other side. Hi, hon! We made it to the Blue Hole National Wildlife Refuge. It says uh, unauthorized entry. 
I think it's up here. There's a trail. <laughs> I know there's a trail, but it says no entry. Where? Right here. Right here. Let's just go around. Right? If we did something wrong, you have to blame it on Google. Because this is the... Uh, oh. Sorry about that. My dog is slipping. I'm not walking him right now because he's not cooperating. Ew. This looks like the entrance right here. There's not a good closed parking, so we just parked right off the side of the road. This has the same sign, but it's clear that everybody is entering here. There's an observation deck over there. Maybe that's where the gators are hanging out. A lot of little fish down there. There's another bird sanctuary area. Do you want to take the dog? Maybe we should go over by the uh, observation deck. Check that out. Oh, look at There's a sit down area. That's a nice little trail otherwise. It may be just too hot right now for gators. Poison wood, do not touch. Oh, I never even heard of that. Oh, here we go. Is this like the entrance we were supposed to go in? All right, well, let's go over here first. Oh, is it? No swimming. He's taking a nap. Oh, look at those birds. <laughs> Off in the reeds. Up in the reeds. You haven't seen the female. Only the male we saw. Oh, don't the and hingas. And hingas, yes. And hingas. And the kids are looking at an iguana. Wow. We reached the parking lot that we couldn't find. Por favor, no, no salim and there. Don't feed them. So we're probably going to get a ticket for where we're parked. Because the stupid Google Maps couldn't find a parking lot. I don't know why I'd think that we want to. Oh, there's a deer. There. Right there. Where? Right there. Right there. In front of that truck. It's just little. Oh, yeah. Look at this <laughs> Sorry, just trying to zoom in. Right 
There we go. Amazingly small. It's like they have a growth impediment. This is like a tremor, but they took the stickers off. Okay, here it comes. I'd be fishing right next to the alligators. Yeah, he's sleeping okay. Leave me alone. If he's starting to move, then I move. But yeah, I mean, there he is. He's there. Okay. We won't leave it next time. I thought you were going to the beach. No, we're going to the beach. Oh, I lost him. We may have to come back. He's very camouflaged. That was the growling sound. Not necessarily from him, but there's other ones back by where we were walking before. The park? State park? Oh. oh. I think he was growling at those people that were walking ahead of us. He could hear the people. All right, let's get out of here. Sue hot. Well, Blue Hole was a success. We did get to see a gator and some other wildlife. Get a little bit of a walking exercise. Something at us. The gator, apparently, according to the lady, I told her it was a bear, and she told me it was just a gator. So he could hear us coming down the trail, and he wanted us to stay away. So don't be intimidated. Every time you hear a growl, it might just be a gator. You gotta keep pressing onward. On to Winn-Dixie. Just going to take another quick dip here at the uh, Ramrod Swimming Hole. Quite a few more people here, but we just want to get cool down. After swimming, we went to take showers and get redressed, and now we're at Key Fisheries Restaurant. Let's check it out. This Keys Fisheries restaurant, very good. And the prices are very reasonable compared to uh, Key West, or the Keys prices. So, very good. I think it was well worth it. Oh, we're stuffed. I'm gonna call it a night and catch back up with you in the morning. <laughs>